Hello, and welcome to the Summer Festival Playlist Guide. In the summer, for 50% completion, you can get the Tour of the Super 92, or the Mercedes-Benz GT4 2018. In the Summer Forzathon shop, you can also purchase the 2018 Land Rover Range Rover Velar First Edition, the 1965 Moore's Mini Traveler, as well as the Frog Wellies and the Halo theme car horn. As a trial reward, you can get the BMW Z4 2019. For the seasonal playground games, you can get the Pontiac Trans Am 1973. Now in the season events is where it gets good. We finally get the Corvette C8 2020, freshly put into the game, as well as the Ford GT70, <laughs> as you could guess from the 1970s, and the Bugatti Chiron. Jumping into the events, starting with the photo challenge, we have to take a photo of any modern sports car at Mortimer Gardens. The car is your choice. The location, I'll show you. You want to go to Mortimer Gardens, which can be found in the top left corner of the map, shown here. Once you're here, find the perfect spot and take that picture. Now, on to the weekly Forzathon challenge. Let's get into our Evo. Now that we have an Evo 6, we can proceed to get our 12 stars from speed zones. For this challenge, I'm a personal fan of Penine, P Penine, P whatever that is, way. It's easy and back and forth. You can get 12 stars, no bother. Now, for chapter 3, we're going to have to win 5 dirt racing series events. I'll show you a wee trick that I like to use to speed these up by a great deal. First off, you want to find yourself a sprint event. Something like Late Hurst Forest Trial. Once you're here, enter the event. Go solo. Then go into custom events. And simply go trending today. And would you look at that. A .3 mile race. Now with these, these will go incredibly quickly as they're designed just for a Forza Thumb completion. I wouldn't worry about modifying your car to suit the race, as it should be fine with these events. And just like that, that's the first race finished. Now simply do that four more times and the challenge will be complete. For our final chapter, we're going to have to take this car for a 10 mile drive. If you really want to grind this out, I'd recommend going on the motorway and just going back and forth on it till you complete the challenge. And there you have it. After a couple of laps of the motorway, we have a completed weekly Forzathon challenge. As for the daily challenges, they're pretty straightforward. Most of them relate to racing and passing. There is one called running the gauntlet, which you might find hard, but I think you'll be able to complete that when you're driving the motorway with your Evo as there's a lot of traffic there, and you'll be able to get the thread the needle skills pretty easily. Now it's time for one of the most difficult challenges in the festival, the trial. For the trial, we're going to need an A-spec 800 rated retro sports car. I will show you now my tips and advice on building one of these. Now, for this, we're going to want something underpowered and light. And for that, we're going to be going with the 1994 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Comes with 428 spec rear wheel drive. We'll be changing that now. First things first, we're going to want to turn this into an all wheel drive train. This will help grip and acceleration. Now, this car comes with a wide body kit. While it does look awesome and sexy, it will also help us with grip in corners and will help us turning. I would also recommend at least upgrading your tires to street tire compound. You can go for the sport tire if you're feeling that the car is a bit too squirrely. And then lighten the car even more. Finally, do as many engine upgrades as you can to take it up to that 800 rank where it will excel. All that's left is the key for the event and wait. And there you have it. Just like that. The trial is complete. 
For the showcase remix, you're gonna have to show off your own skills. It's a showcase remix, and I can't really help you here. Best of luck. For the seasonal playground games, I simply don't have the patience for it. But if you do, I wish you the best of luck. Now, starting with the seasonal PR stunts, let's start with a North Bridge PR stunt. For these, we're going to want something fast and good on the road. So, get your best hypercar. I'm going to go for the 2020 Conaseg Jesco that came out last series. For this one, we're going to be wanting to hit 180 miles per hour. So get a good run up and blast it. And just like that, the objective is complete. Now our next objective will be both Broadway Commons and Broadway Windmill, since they're right next to each other. For these ones, we're going to be taking the same run up. Both this one and this one, we're going to be going all the way back here, and just running at it. We're going to be doing Broadway Commons first, and here we're going to want to get an average of 165 miles per hour. With this beast, it's going to be no issue at all. And then same thing for Broadway Windmill. Now for this one, we're going to be wanting to get 396 meters. Just get as much speed as you can, and I think you'll be sweet. And just like that, that's all the PR stunts complete. Now, on to the seasonal events. We're going to start off with a Corvette C8. Simply, because I don't have it yet, but I really got to want it. We're going to be wanting to get a B-rank 700 spec Chevrolet. My car of choice here is going to be the Chevrolet Chevelle Supersport from 1967. Now, on to the race itself. Make sure your difficulty is set to highly skilled for this. Otherwise, you're not going to get the car reward. For the next season event, we're going to be getting the Ford GT70 from 1970. We're going to be using a 600 class classic rally car. Make sure to pay attention as it is a dirt racing series, so we want to use the dirt tires. For this championship, I'm going to be using the Ford Escort R1600. Our final season event is for the Bugatti Chiron. Nothing is too beautiful. For this event, I'm going to be using the EB110 Supersport, simply because it's the cheapest in the shop. To save some people who don't have a Bugatti yet some money. The final thing I'll cover is the monthly rivals. The best advice I can give for this is just to simply take it slow. Because your target's always going to be slow, and it'll be a fatal lap if you hit any walls or anything. So just keep it between the lines. Especially because this thing, mid engine, rear wheel drive, will love to break traction. Check this out. And there we go. That's the majority of the season complete. To get 80%, all you're going to have to do is do your monthly series. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Good luck with all your racing.